can't just see something that's maybe a once in a century discovery and go do your nine to five job. You gotta go look for fur or footprints or some kind of evidence. For generations, local folklore has whispered about strange gatherings deep within the remote wilderness. Stories of mysterious rituals conducted by non-human entities beneath the dark canopy of the forest. Recently, a team of amateur investigators captured footage that lends startling credibility to these strange legends. Crystal clear video reveals entities of unknown type gathering in the dead of night. What manner of creatures are these? Why do they congregate in secret? And what fate awaits those who stray across their path? Join us as we analyze the clearest footage ever released showing the gathering of these unidentified beings. Bigfoot, a mysterious beast. Caught on camera, deep in the ancient forests around the world lurk unknown beasts whose origins yet evade understanding. Throughout history, humans have reported sightings of large, hairy hominids, alien-looking predators with glowing eyes, and other anomalous animals that do not fit neatly into any known species. But these accounts were long brushed aside as myths, hoaxes, or misidentifications. That is, until the advent of technologies like trail cameras, home surveillance systems, and smartphones brought forth visual proof of these elusive beings. Modern recording devices have captured some intriguing specimens that point to the possible realness of legendary creatures like Bigfoot, Wolfmen, and Chupacabras, and the mystery surrounding them only seems to deepen with each new purported sighting. The most prominent of these mythical beasts is none other than the gigantic bipedal ape known across cultures as Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, or by other names. Described by witnesses as a towering, foul-smelling primate walking on two legs and covered in reddish-brown or black fur, it has an instantly recognizable profile. But does it represent a genuine species? Skeptics may scoff, but Bigfoot champions point to curious images snapped on automatic trail cameras installed deep in remote forests. One intriguing example comes from the Appalachians, where a local angler had a face-to-face -face encounter with a huge beast emerging from a river. Though the shaken man tried pursuing the creature, it disappeared, leaving behind a trail of massive footprints as a testament to their meeting. An even clearer photo of a suspected Sasquatch was posted on TikTok recently. It depicts what looks convincingly like a 10-foot hairy humanoid lingering in an empty field. Mainstream scientists would likely dismiss it as a prankster in an ape suit. But cryptozoologists analyzing the creature's proportions, stance, and location far from human activity insist it must be the real deal. They can cite myriad other instances of cameras installed to monitor wildlife suddenly catching a bipedal fur-covered figure straying through the undergrowth before vanishing without a trace. These fleeting images certainly pique the imagination. But are they definitive proof of an unknown North American anthropoid that has somehow lived alongside humans undetected for centuries? Or could there be more mundane explanations behind this Bigfoot phenomenon? But Sasquatches are not the only freakish entities turning up more frequently on digital recordings as more motion-activated surveillance spreads into natural habitats. Late at night, several YouTubers and homeowners have been horrified to examine their footage and spot something straight out of a monster movie creeping around their yards. The protagonists of these mini-horror films are usually emaciated humanoids with long, dangling limbs and a pale, sickly complexion. But their most nerve-jangling feature has to be their pair of shining round eyes, which blaze a vivid yellow or crimson when illuminated. Some say they resemble the mythical Mothman or even aliens, but might these unsettling trespassers hail from our world? Cryptid experts have been tossing around theories suggesting that these mysterious creatures might be skinwalkers or some kind of shape-shifting witches straight out of Navajo legends. According to these stories, these creepy beings have been giving folks in the Southwest the heebie-jeebies for generations. It's like they've been practicing spooky rituals passed down through the ages, and their witchy ways allow them to morph into all sorts of animals. Or maybe even something that's not quite animal-like at all. Back in the day, spotting one of these bad boys was like finding a needle in a haystack. But now, 
Thanks to home camera systems, more and more folks are catching these weirdos on tape. It's like they're popping up on people's properties in rural and suburban areas with a rich history of Native American culture. But even with all these sightings, these supernatural baddies still prefer to keep a low profile, only showing up briefly before skedaddling back into the shadows. And then there's that other nocturnal predator lurking out there, sucking the blood out of poor, unsuspecting livestock. The infamous goat sucker, also known as El Chupacabra, Folks have been spinning tales about this blood-sucking critter for ages, especially in Mexico and the American Southwest. But despite all the stories and reports of mutilated animals left high and dry, nobody's been able to pin down exactly what this creature is. It's like the mystery just keeps on getting weirder and weirder. Some folks argue that maybe it's just a weird canine like the Mexican hairless dog that's developed a bit of a bloodlust. But try telling that to the farmers and ranchers who've come face to face with something straight out of a horror movie, a creature with a creepy spine, a face that looks like it's from another planet, and screeches that'll make your skin crawl, especially under a full moon. Trail camera footage has added fuel to the fire. One clip shows a hairless critter with a long snout going through the trash before disappearing into the night. That was enough to convince one eyewitness that the chupacabra was the real deal. Wildlife experts, though, said it was probably just a mangy raccoon. But can a regular old raccoon turn into the stuff of nightmares, sucking the life out of goats and leaving terror in its wake? The debate has been raging on, with folks on both sides digging in their heels. But there's no denying that there are some predators out there that seem to have taken on some pretty freaky forms that nobody's seen before. As more and more homemade videos and photos pop up online, showing creatures that seem straight out of a sci-fi flick, scientists are left scratching their heads. Some of these beasts look like they've stepped right out of legends and folklore, while others seem like they might just be some bizarre mutation of a regular old animal. But with most of the evidence being fuzzy photos and shaky video clips, it's tough for biologists to say for sure whether these creatures are legit discoveries or just figments of our imagination. The mystery surrounding these creatures only adds fuel to the fire for cryptozoologists, those folks who study hidden or unknown animals. They're like modern-day explorers, piecing together sightings and stories from around the world in search of new species that have yet to be formally recognized. Sure, mainstream zoologists might write them off as legends or pseudoscience, but with all the trail camera evidence stacking up, it's hard to ignore the call for more research. Thanks to the trail cam revolution and global databases, we now know that there are still plenty of biological enigmas out there, hiding away in remote corners and uncharted territories. It's a reminder that even with all our technology and knowledge, there are still parts of the natural world that remain a mystery to us. Who knows what kind of massive creatures might be roaming the earth, just waiting to be discovered. It's enough to give you chills in the best possible way. Tales of Paranormal Sightings Michael jolted, his heart racing as he struggled to comprehend what he was seeing. Was this some kind of nightmare come to life? He could feel the hairs on the back of his neck stand on end as he stared into the creature's glowing eyes, feeling a primal fear grip him. But then, as suddenly as it had appeared, the creature turned and bounded off into the darkness, leaving Michael alone with his racing thoughts. Trembling, he sank back onto his bed, the weight of what he had witnessed settling heavily upon him. For hours he lay there, unable to shake the image of the mysterious beast from his mind. What was it? Where had it come from? And most importantly, was it still out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike again? With a shiver, Michael pulled the covers tight around him, knowing that sleep would not come easily tonight. Michael's mind raced with questions, his thoughts swirling like a vortex of uncertainty. What had he stumbled upon in the darkness of the night? Was there a rational explanation for what he had witnessed? Or had he truly come face to face with the supernatural? As he pondered these questions, Michael knew one thing for certain. His encounter had changed him forever. No longer could he dismiss tales of the unknown as mere fiction. He had experienced firsthand the chilling reality of the unexplained, 
and it had shaken him to his core. With a newfound sense of purpose, Michael resolved to delve deeper into the mysteries that lurked in the shadows. Armed with his blurry photos and unwavering determination, he embarked on a journey to uncover the truth behind the cryptic creatures that prowled the night. Little did he know, his quest would lead him down a path fraught with danger and discovery, where the line between reality and myth would blur beyond recognition. The viral video of the woman encountering the eerie, translucent figure in the woods has sparked intense debate among viewers. While some believe it could be one of the legendary glimmer men known for their elusive nature, others argue it might simply be a trick of light or a camera artifact. However, the woman's insistence that she felt a supernatural presence and received a warning adds an eerie layer to the mystery. As for the trail camera footage captured by the three teens, it sends shivers down the spine of anyone who watches it. The massive, hairy, man-like beast captured in the moonlit field raises questions about what lurks in the shadows of the forest. The fact that one of the teens who stayed behind to investigate disappears without a trace only adds to the sense of dread and uncertainty surrounding the encounter. These chilling encounters serve as a reminder that there are still many mysteries waiting to be uncovered in the depths of the wilderness. Whether they are mythical creatures of folklore or something else entirely, the unknown forces that dwell in the forest continue to intrigue and terrify those who dare to seek them out. The discovery of the claw marks and the absence of any known wildlife matching the creature's description only deepen the mystery surrounding the colossal beast captured on video. Was it truly Bigfoot, a legendary creature of folklore, or perhaps something even more elusive and supernatural? Despite efforts by zoologists and authorities to explain the phenomenon, the truth remains elusive. These tales of unexplained creatures and paranormal activity have persisted throughout history, captivating the human imagination with their mystery and intrigue. As technology continues to advance and surveillance networks expand into remote areas, more bizarre and chilling footage will likely surface, adding to the enigma of the unknown. Whether science will eventually provide answers to these mysteries, or whether some phenomena are simply beyond human comprehension, remains to be seen. But for now, the shadows of the unknown continue to beckon, leaving us to wonder what secrets lie hidden within. Nightmare in the Deep Alligators vs. Sharks Marcus called out to his brother to join him for a swim in the bayou. Marcus assured him the waters were safe, grumbling that his older brother was just scared of small alligators, but Marcus doubted the safety of these wild waters. Local fishermen brought back chilling tales of massive alligators silently patrolling these primeval swamps. Marcus shouted impatiently for his brother to stop worrying and dive in. He then flung himself into the murky bayou, kicking up brackish water as he swam further out. Marcus scanned the bayou for dark shapes, alert for any hidden threats. Near a cypress knee offshore, the ripples from his brother's splashing spread out to reveal a long, scaly ridge breaching the surface. The six-foot armored tail of a full-grown alligator. In a panic, Marcus yelled for his brother to get back to shore immediately. But Marcus just trod water, confused as to why his brother seemed so freaked out, oblivious to the apex ambush predator swiftly approaching from below. Marcus watched in horror, powerless to intervene as the cold-blooded killer aligned itself with the thrashing limbs of his foolish younger brother. An ancient clash between reptiles and mammals was seconds away from playing out before Marcus's eyes. The monster surged upwards, giant jaws stretching wide to deliver its signature spinning death roll. But suddenly, another streamlined figure rocketed up behind the gator, crashing into it in a frenzy. The sleek silhouette of an aggressive bull shark, its emotionless eye fixed on the gator. The gator whipped around, clamping onto the shark even as its thick hide was ravaged by the shark's ripping teeth. They disappeared beneath the crimson water, locked in mortal combat these colossal representatives of perfect aquatic killing machines. Marcus shuddered as the waters stilled, no sign remaining of the nightmarish creatures or his brother. A primordial battle had unfolded before his eyes between two apex predators, reptilian menace versus oceanic killer. Cold-hearted dinosaur meets perfect aquatic hunting machine. Marcus had witnessed both creatures feed growing up in the swampy bayous of Louisiana, 
He knew well the destructive power contained in the gator's bone-crushing jaws and spinning death roll. Yet the shark's swiftness, razor teeth, and unfeeling eyes froze his blued too. Both monsters inspired instinctual dread, not just of death, but of being swallowed into a world utterly inhospitable to man. Later, Marcus shared the haunting experience with his friend Devon, a lifelong Bayou resident. Devon argued longer and louder about which beast was deadlier. To him, the cold calculation of the shark was more terrifying. With no limbs or weaknesses, guided by electrical pulses honing in for the kill, sharks seemed like perfect killers, even more dangerous to humans than alligators. But Marcus disagreed. The cold-blooded cunning and brute force of alligators unnerved him more. Armored tanks lurking unseen near shore, stealthy and patient but explosively deadly. The suffocating horror of being dragged into their world by pure jaws. Somehow, their evolutionary stagnation made them seem even more primordial and threatening to mankind's dominance over nature. In the end, their debate remained unsettled. How do we quantify our phobias of fangs in watery realms where early man was easy prey? Was it mere Hollywood hype, or did these beasts prod some deeper terror engraved on our DNA? We fear them because they once dominated the waters and still dream of regaining their terrible sovereignty. They are liquid nightmares that expose just how feeble our recent dominion over nature remains. So honor that ancient fear, it may serve to remind us that if we forget our fragile place in nature's scheme, the eternal depths will soon churn forth hungry horrors to replace us. Mysterious Tracks in the Snow AJ awoke to a silent winter morning, the world blanketed white after the season's first big snowfall. Eager to capture the pristine postcard scene, he pulled on boots and coat to head outside with his camera in hand. As AJ stepped off his porch, the snow's surface marred only by the footsteps of small birds and squirrels, he detected unfamiliar markings near the edge of the woods. Meandering from the forest was a set of mysterious tracks, unlike any local wildlife he knew. Intrigued, AJ followed them down the hill, across his backyard, all the way to his back door. As AJ examined the mysterious tracks on his rural property, he couldn't shake the feeling of unease creeping over him. These were no ordinary animal prints. They were too large, too distinct, and belonged to no creature he could readily identify. His property bordered a vast nature preserve, a haven for wildlife of all kinds. Yet, even in such a prime habitat, the tracks seemed out of place. There were no predators or mammals in the area that matched the size and gait of these prints. AJ pondered over the possibilities, considering every resident creature he knew. Black bears, while occasionally venturing into the area, moved differently, their tracks distinctly different from what lay before him. Hoofed animals and caninas also left their marks, but none matched the size and shape of these enigmatic prints. As he stood there, contemplating the oversized tracks beside his boot, AJ's mind raced with possibilities. The prints, with their distinct bipedal pattern, sparked both excitement and apprehension. Could it be? Was Bigfoot, the legendary cryptid, roaming his New Hampshire refuge under the cover of winter's snow? Attempting to rein in his spiraling thoughts, AJ decided to seek a more rational explanation. He submitted photos of the tracks to the regional department of Fish and Game, hoping for a definitive answer. The response he received from the officials was far from what he had expected. They dismissed his suspicions, attributing the tracks to a snowshoe hare, albeit an unusually large one. Despite their explanation, AJ couldn't shake the feeling of intrigue surrounding the mysterious tracks. The possibility of encountering such a legendary creature in his backyard left him both thrilled and unsettled. As winter's chill inevitably gave way to the thaw, the pristine snow that once held the enigmatic tracks melted away, leaving behind only memories and speculation. Despite the lack of a definitive conclusion, the mystery of AJ's mysterious visitor continued to capture the imagination of those who heard the tale. Seeking further insights, AJ turned to internet groups devoted to mysterious creatures, where opinions varied widely. Some suggested the tracks could belong to unknown wildlife, while others entertained the possibility of escaped monkeys or even remnants of Appalachian gorillas. 
enthusiasm for deciphering the puzzle of the footprints seemed boundless, with discussions delving into stride patterns and leg lengths in search of clues. As the tracks disappeared and the identity of the mysterious visitor remained elusive, the incident served as a reminder of the wonders that may still lie hidden in North America's remote forests. Perhaps, amidst the untouched wilderness, relict populations from bygone eras still roam, leaving behind fleeting traces in the snow before retreating once more into the realm of myth and legend. The Ghost in the Photo Nicole's heart raced as she stared at the eerie image on her screen. Was it just a trick of the light or something more sinister? She quickly took a screenshot, her hands trembling with excitement and fear. This was no ordinary find on Google Maps. With a surge of adrenaline, Nicole decided to investigate further. She grabbed her phone and dashed out of the house, determined to reach Forest View Park before the sunset. The park was only a short walk away, but each step felt like an eternity as she imagined what she might find there. As she entered the park, Nicole's senses were on high alert. The sounds of rustling leaves and distant bird song seemed to take on a sinister tone, and the shadows cast by the trees felt like they were closing in around her. She made her way to the spot indicated on the map, her heart pounding in her chest. When she reached the cops of trees, Nicole's breath caught in her throat. There, in the dim light filtering through the branches, she could just make out the silhouette of a figure standing among the shadows. It was the girl from the image, her ghostly form hovering just out of reach. Nicole's pulse quickened as she approached, her mind racing with a mixture of fear and fascination. She called out to the spirit, her voice trembling with uncertainty. To her surprise, the ghostly figure turned to face her, its expression filled with longing and sorrow. At that moment, Nicole felt a connection with the spirit of Evelyn, the girl who had met such a tragic end so many years ago. She reached out a trembling hand, unsure of what would happen next and as her fingers brushed against the cold, ethereal form of the ghostly girl, Nicole knew that her life would never be the same again. Despite the skeptic's attempts to discredit her find, Nicole remained convinced of the authenticity of the image. She knew what she had seen on Google Maps, and nothing could shake her belief in the existence of the ghostly girl of Forest View Park. As the debate raged on, more and more people flocked to the park in search of the elusive spirit. Some claimed to have encountered Evelyn's ghost themselves, reporting eerie sightings and unexplained phenomena. Others remained skeptical, chalking it up to overactive imaginations and the power of suggestion. But for Nicole, the truth was clear. She had stumbled upon something extraordinary, something that defied rational explanation. As she continued to delve deeper into the mysteries of Forest View Park, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was on the verge of uncovering something truly groundbreaking. Whether or not the world was ready to accept the existence of ghosts, Nicole was determined to uncover the truth, no matter where it might lead. The debate over the authenticity of Evelyn's ghostly image persisted, with believers like Nicole arguing passionately for its validity. They pointed out the specific details of the photograph that seemed to defy conventional explanations, such as the sharp focus of the apparition and the architectural elements that could potentially serve as conduits for supernatural energy. Meanwhile, skeptics remained steadfast in their skepticism, offering alternative explanations and attempting to debunk the photograph through various means. Despite their efforts, the controversy only seemed to intensify with both sides digging in their heels and refusing to budge from their positions. In the end, the question of whether Evelyn's ghost was captured on Google Maps remained unanswered, leaving room for speculation and interpretation. For some, the mystery was part of the allure, while others continued to search for concrete evidence of the paranormal. As the debate raged on, the truth remained elusive, much like the fleeting presence of a ghost in the dappled light of a forest. Bigfoot encounter along the river. The cry of a distant loon echoed across the tranquil northern waters as Jeremy set up his fishing gear on the wooded riverbank in Minnesota. He cherished these weekends alone in nature, finding peace that his crowded dorm couldn't offer. The dawn scene remained undisturbed, save for the occasional deer making their way to the river. Suddenly, a loud crash shattered the calm, startling Jeremy. The loon's frantic cries filled the air, warning of danger. 
Jeremy turned to see a towering figure moving among the trees on the opposite bank. He was captivated by the sight. It was Bigfoot, the legendary creature he had always believed existed somewhere in the wild. Never did he imagine he would come face to face with the elusive giant. The creature's reddish-brown fur glimmered in a beam of sunlight, its powerful muscles visible as it paused to lock eyes with Jeremy. In those deep, dark eyes, Jeremy sensed intelligence and a hint of amusement at his astonishment. Strangely, Jeremy didn't feel afraid during this encounter with America's legendary cryptid. He couldn't explain why he felt compelled to cautiously approach the creature when it gestured for him to follow before disappearing into the woods. Determined to capture the moment, Jeremy grabbed his camera and pursued the creature. After a few minutes of chasing, Jeremy found himself standing in a clearing where the creature had vanished. All that remained were large footprints in the soft ground, indicating the creature's immense size. Astonished, Jeremy photographed the footprints before they faded away, wondering if the creature had deliberately left evidence of their encounter before continuing its journey into the wilderness. Back on campus, Jeremy's photos sparked envy and playful doubt among his classmates. While authorities dismissed the encounter as a likely hoax or misidentification, Minnesota officials opted for a rare stance, neither confirming nor denying the incident. This neutrality surprised many, considering the usual ridicule faced by Bigfoot believers. Privately, Jeremy understood the officials' reluctance to outright reject the encounter. After all, hadn't he shared a remarkable moment with a being that defied conventional belief? In their brief exchange, Jeremy glimpsed ancient forests untouched by human hands and sensed the solemnity of a dwindling wilderness. He felt a duty to respect and preserve these last sanctuaries, acknowledging that creatures like Bigfoot inhabited these lands long before us. As the creature left behind tangible evidence of its existence, Jeremy couldn't help but wonder what wisdom it carried from its solitary journey. Perhaps believers understood that some myths persist because they are rooted in truth, lingering in the untouched corners of the world, waiting for us to acknowledge their presence. A ring camera captures the unexplained. Eric was startled by a notification from his ring camera expecting it to be just raccoons in the trash again. However, something about the timing made him uneasy. It was past midnight, and the neighborhood was usually quiet at that hour. Curious and a bit apprehensive, Eric checked the footage from a few minutes earlier. Initially, the video showed nothing unusual in his moonlit backyard. Shadows cast by the trees and fence remained still, stirred only slightly by a gentle breeze. Then Eric noticed something unsettling. A darker shape seemed to detach itself from the tree line. As he watched, a vague figure formed, gliding smoothly across the grass. Eric felt a shiver down his spine at the sight of this mysterious intruder on his property. It stood about five feet tall, with a human-like outline but no distinct features, just a deeper darkness moving with purpose. The mysterious figure paused by Eric's hammock, as if admiring its gentle sway, before swiftly gliding away, disappearing near the back gate. The yard returned to its peaceful state, seemingly unaware of the uncanny visitor. Eric was left stunned. Despite reviewing countless ring alerts, he had never encountered anything like this before. There were no obvious explanations like camera glare or technical glitches to account for the ethereal intruder. He couldn't classify it as a ghost, spirit orb, or shadow being. None of those terms fully captured what he had witnessed. Feeling shaken, Eric reached out to ring support for help. Their technicians confirmed that the footage showed no signs of tampering or manipulation, leaving them as puzzled as Eric about the nature of the apparition. Unable to shake off the experience, Eric spent sleepless nights watching the footage repeatedly, hoping to make sense of the inexplicable presence that had crossed into his reality. Eric chose to keep the unsettling encounter to himself, knowing that his friends and family would likely dismiss it as impossible or a figment of his imagination. Yet the graceful yet menacing presence of the trespasser continued to haunt him, challenging his understanding of natural laws and hinting at realities beyond human comprehension. Late at night, when darkness enveloped the yard, 
Eric couldn't help but peer out his window, half expecting to see the shadowy figure gliding beneath the oak trees. He wondered if it was a ghost, a traveler between dimensions, or something even stranger, pausing to observe its surroundings before continuing on its mysterious journey between worlds. The mystery of what his CCTV surveillance captured that August evening remained unsolved. However, the encounter left Eric aware that stranger things are lurking on the fringes of our understanding, peeking through the cracks that modern security systems unexpectedly expose. Despite our efforts to monitor our surroundings, we remain unable to fully explain what watches back at us from beyond the veil or what awaits discovery in the darkness beyond. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. And while you're still here, click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos.